Hello and welcome to this demonstration. Today we will see how to configure automatic web updates of your Excel workbooks by XLS Padlock. To do this, even if you already have your own workbook, for this demonstration, we are going to use the following workbook which is a simple workbook with one formula to protect and a function compiled with the VBA compiler. Finally, to check the update is done correctly, I added a version number here 1.0 which will allow us to switch to version 2.0 later and check that the update is done correctly. Let's go! To begin with, we'll compile the workbook in executable with XLS Padlock. Everything is already configured, just click Build Secure Application. What XLS Padlock does. Here it is. The application is ready. Let's do a little test. The application starts and asks me what I want to do. Here open the original workbook. Now the workbook is open and it's a compiled workbook because you can see in the title bar, we have my application. The formula was well protected and the VBA code works as expected. Finally, we have the version number which is currently 1.0. Let's close this application. And now we will configure the settings in XLS Padlock to add automatic web updates. We go into Customize EXE, then Web Update. And we just have to check the option, Add the Web Update feature. Next, several fields to configure. We'll see them together. The first one indicates the address of your web server, where you will place the update files that the XLS Padlock software will generate for you. So you should have a web server or a space on the web you have access to and where you can upload files so that the clients can download them or at least here your application can download them automatically. So, for the purpose of this demonstration today, I will use a URL specific to this demonstration. You have to use your own URL and not this one. By the way, I'll point out that you can have a URL that starts with HTTPS and it is even recommended. The software is perfectly able to download files and secure addresses. Then the update information is stored in a simple text file whose extension ends with .inf. It is this control file that is downloaded each time by the application and which contains update information. So the application knows if there is a new update available or not. For example, I will enter my application.inf. You enter of course what you want. If you have several applications, the .inf control file must have a unique name for each application. Then, since I said that you're going to have to upload files, for the update on your server, you still need to have these files. To do this, into a local directory on your computer, XLS Padlock will generate the files that you will then have to place on your server. Using an FTP client software for instance, or an online web management application like Panel. So here I will simply place the files. In a dedicated directory that I'm going to create here. I copy and paste the path there in the field. Then a text. Optional to say what's new. Put in what you want. It will be displayed to users. Now we are done. Next, we can generate the web update files with the following button. And finally the files are ready. As shown here, we have to upload them to our web server so that the update functionality can found them at the indicated address. Let's have a look at the contents of the directory. Some new files have appeared, including the .inf file. It contains information that you don't need to work this. These are instructions for the application. And we have a cabinet archive file, which contains our executable file. In other words, our current application. That's it. Thus, these are the two files I'm going to put on the web server, at the following address. And then we'll check that we can download them.
Now that the files have been uploaded, they should be accessible. For this we will check with a simple browser that the control file is accessible. Let's copy the base URL. Go to the web browser. Here, I choose the same name as my control.inf file. I enter the complete URL. And as you can see we find the content of the .inf control file. As expected. Let's build the secure application now. It's done. Now, you see a new button has appeared. It allows the user to check if an update is available or not. And not surprisingly no new version is available. We will now see how to do it. So let's imagine that we modified our workbook. Here we will simply switch to the 2.0 version. And we will of course have to tell our Excel application that the update is available. To do this, we return to Customize EXE. This time we go to EXE icon and version info. This is the key phase of the update process. This is where we can indicate that this is a new version. By changing the version number of the file and the version number of the product. But it is mainly on the file version number that XLS Padlock bases itself on. So for example we will say that this is version 2.0. Let's not change anything else. Now we will create the 2.0 version of the executable file. But before that in this test we will do a backup of version 1.0 that we created earlier. Simply copy the executable file. We'll copy it and put it in a separate directory. That's it. Now we're ready. We can create the executable file of the version 2.0 for the web update process. It is very important not to change the name of the executable file, even if here it is written v1. We compile the application. Let's check. Now we can see that this is the version 2.0 and we're going to distribute it through the update process. To do this we just need to go back to web update and regenerate the update files. Not surprisingly the destination directory is not empty. We will simply delete it and let XLS Padlock create the update files. That's it. Now we're down to repeat the same operation to place the, the control file and the cabinet file on our web server at the same address as before namely this one. And we need again to do the last part, to do a test. For this last part, we have put the update files on our web server, though they are available publicly. And now we can do the test. We return to the directory in which we had placed the executable file corresponding to version 1.0. And we are going to verify it. For that, we launch our application. Original file. And, as you can see, we have indeed our version 1.0. Okay. Right now. Let's ask for an update. That's it. We are running version 1.0 and we have a version 2.0 available. The what's new text we entered before is also shown. Let the app perform the update. It asks us which components we want to update. We have only one. The cabinet file is downloading and the application updates itself. That's it. We don't see it yet, but it's the executable version 
We can check that if we try to update. It doesn't detect any more version. A good point for the version 2.0. Let's check our Excel application. Original. 2.0, the compiled application has been updated because we are now working with the new Excel workbook. As you can see, everything was done quickly and transparently for the end user. This concludes our tutorial on automatic web updates with XLS Padlock for your secure Excel applications. Thank you for watching. Get your fully functional trial at spadlock.com.